shit, fire up, fire up. I'm Rich Thomas, former mayor of the city of Mount Vernon, and I'm joined by Firehouse Father Gassy. And we doing Gloves On, Gloves Off, the hottest internet streaming yeah. show out. Not only just the music art, but the words and the, you know, um, commentary, everything about the show is just up, 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 you know what I mean? So glad your gloves up or get your hands up. You know <laughs> there I mean? you go. Um, so, so we got some things to talk about today. We we, we have some, um, you know, so there's some, you know, developments that happen out on um, the the policy front. Uh, just the other day, there was a vote by New York State Democratic Board of Election Commissioners to uh, remove Bernie Sanders from the presidential primary. And, you know, you have to ask yourself, well, why? Why would they do that? And why would that be a priority? And and I'm just curious, you know, as to what uh, some people are thinking, because I can tell you right now that... Um, we, we support the fact that Joe Biden is the Democratic nominee, but why remove Bernie from the ballot? What do you think that's all about, Father Gassy? I personally think because of the tremendous support he's getting from AOC, um, yes, um, you know, that's a backlash. And again, Bernie always generates what we call interested point, you know. For example, you know, trying to get a model from Cuba, you know, um, people start to brand him. So, again, they will try to do anything to make the democratic process of the democratic um, government, you know what I mean? Uh, and Bernie Sanders is a fine example. What can happen when you start to speak up for the voiceless, you know? So... You know, again, I respect your Honorable Richard Thomas and Joe Biden, a man who has, you know, been President Obama, Vice President for the last eight years. So it's a good choice. Yeah, but, but uh, my, okay. my thing is, I, while, while I support Joe Biden as the nominee or the potential, you know, as the soon-to-be nominee, I, I'm, I'm looking at, you know, the impact of removing Bernie Sanders from the ballot as something that's going to hurt other candidates that that you know he worked with and it just begs right. the question of you know what's really going on and when you factor in that you know there are a whole bunch of different um you know things happening right now in in our society uh from contact tracing which they want to call it it's nothing different than what you know we've been concerned about about spying spying on people and and i understand that we have to defeat the virus but it shouldn't come at the defeat of our right to privacy and that's where I have to just kind of point out and call a spade a spade. I, I think that when you look very carefully at the strategic move of removing Bernie Sanders from the ballot in June, it's going to hurt any candidate that is not necessarily um, that doesn't necessarily align with the Democratic Party. It, it's going to hurt them because their their main um, magnet is not on the ballot. And that's where, again, I just see it as a move to try and suppress the vote. Again, you know, you see what happened in Wisconsin. You know, within the coronavirus, they still want to mm -hmm. have the people them out. And still, um, actually talking about social distancing, while they want to go forward with the election, and if you see what the amount of irregularity that come up. So, again... Um, well, you... You hit the word on the head. So, hey, so, so have a listen to this. We have a clip from a movie or a documentary called Rig the Film. And, you know, we're going to play it real fast and we're going to listen. It's a minute long and I think everybody's going to enjoy it. His gloves off, gloves on. It's on. Get your gloves up. Richard Thomas, Father Cassidy, Kingstonian. Richard Thomas, our youngest mayor. All right, press catch, Mr. Mayor. Patriots gave their lives to ensure every voice is heard. From 1776, From 1776 onward, onward, it's been, it's part, been of part of our DNA, DNA to distrust and check power. We make sure, we make sure that, the that the voters choose the politicians, and that the politicians, that the politicians aren't, allowed aren't allowed to choose the voters. voters. In, America, In America, we also have a core belief that, that our diversity moves us forward. We even have a name for it. 
democracy. democracy. But now, but now some, some of our leaders, leaders are doing what we thought we'd never see, see again. Working, working to a bridge and, and deny the right to vote. Passing, passing new laws, new laws creating new restrictions, new restrictions raising new hurdles, raising new hurdles all, all aimed at the most vulnerable among us. This is, this is not, not a vote ID bill. bill. This is, this is voter suppression. It's voter disenfranchisement. Who are, Who are they? How do they, How do, they do it? it? I'll, show I'll show you. Come join, Come join me as we, as we fight, fight to defend our democracy. Read the voter the suppression playbook. Now, Father Gassi, I had the privilege of talking with the with the um, with the director and creator of this of this film, and you know we got to talking about some things that people can do to fight uh, voter suppression tactics, and and one of the things that that you know constantly came up was some issues of of how votes are suppressed. And this is where you have to look at, you know, the situation with um, removing Bernie's name from the ballot. Again, I don't, I'm not supporting him for president. I had a different vision for a different um, head nominee. It was Joe Biden. And I also liked Michael Bloomberg a lot because I felt that he had um, a, a strong command of the economic issues. But still... I respect Bernie. I, 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 I like a lot of the, the stuff that he was doing in terms of exciting people. But I do feel that the move that was made to remove from the ballot represents almost something like a voter roll purge, which we saw happen to me in um, 2019. Identical, identical. Um, we never see nothing like this. Because only that, you have to remember, is a census here also. So it can be something to undermine the census code because, again, remember, um, a lot of people bring notice to the census, Bernie, and, you know, other candidate that's going to be maybe on the ballot with him also could have helped highlight the census. And how important the census is to get in um, accountability for zoning and elect black people, you know, or black officers. So... You know, it's a lot, lot than just Bernie getting suppressed after the ballot. You know, Mr. Mayor, you have to look on it on, on a different level. You know, it's census here, election here. And it always seems like somebody up to some awkward spokers. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You got that right. <laughs> yeah. Again, people, our gloves are one of the artists streaming show. We're going to have our guest soon, you know. But right now, we are in our infantry, and it's with Richard Thomas and Father Gass. It's straight. Hot to attack in Father Gas from Jamaica, all right? Uh, we're glad to be serving the people that who have locked down our quarantine right now. Just go and stream. Well, Gassy. Mr. Thomas, Father Gassy, and you're good. Go ahead, Mr. Mayor. So, so what I put on the screen for people to see are some of the numbers. And, and this is where I just want to, you know, talk briefly about, you know, the, the threat of voter purge. And my warning for any body that's running for office is you got to check the voter rolls and you got to check multiple different files that the Board of Elections right. give you. Because the differences that I found in, in my election were staggering. I mean, you had five voters who were, converted, who were converted to new voter IDs versus the original file that they gave. You had 12 voters that got brand new birthdays. You had 683 voters that were basically, they had their addresses changed or their polling location change, were changed. Change. Yeah. And, and Story you know, and you talk identity. about the people that Story were removed identity. from the ballot. I mean, there were so many changes made. You had over 2,000 people removed from the voting books that voted in the last election. And right. and, and you just ask yourself, what happened to... These thousands of voters that went to go and vote that day, they were basically denied the vote. And a lot of these people expressed their concerns to me and my team. But again, when the system's out to get you and the system is out to basically say, look, we're going a different direction because, you know, the system wants to protect the system. 
you know, that's that's what happens. But 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 what I do yeah. know is that um, we're in a place where we have a nominee, soon to be nominee for the Democratic um, primary for president and Joe Biden, who, you know, we're rooting for to do very well to take the country back in the direction that believes in people, not lining the pockets of just big business. And, right. and, and, and and trying and, to make it more fair. Value. Bring back the value of what this country is all about. That's right. You know, when you was when you was like growing up on the island, you know, like in Jamaica you hear that America is a land of opportunity. You know, you just come here and do the right thing, honor your green card, your visa, and you know, go to school and do the right thing and you will come out good. And that's how we see America, you know what I mean? Again, this is a great country that brings every nation all over the world come to. So it's time we have a comprehensive immigration system that can justify and be fair to everyone. And I like you, Mr. Mayor. Why Mount Vernon are the city called Vernon Square Mile? Mount Vernon is so on top of the, the, the you know, I mean, in, in New Rochelle just become a big center for the COVID. But Mount Vernon next door, it is a place that you have put on the map by becoming the youngest mayor. That's historical. And again, it's an honor to have a program going streaming with you. And uh, we are in our infancy. Just imagine when we go in our sophomore year and our, you know. <laughs> well, we, we're going to yeah, definitely so step, we're gonna keep stepping going. it up. But, but one of the things yeah. that, that I want to step up on, and I just want to remind everybody is that we need to get more involved in government, especially now. And when you think about, right. again, the moves that are being made, our privacy is under attack. Um, they're, they're asking us to vote by mail, which is something that, again, um, is, is suspect. It's, 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 it's susceptible to being you know, tampered with, not just by the Russians, but by the local power brokers that want to keep power for themselves. So yeah. and you look at that big move, they removed Bernie from the ballot. To me, that's a big flag, a big red flag that says, you know, we want to try and keep new people from voting. Even though I, I'm not voting for Bernie Sanders for president, I still believe that he should still be on the ballot because it is right. It's right. He earned that spot to be there. And, and, and yeah, man, it's still up to it, him it, and his delegates to support Joe Biden. Keep the Democratic process Democratic because the move yeah. to me, it just smacks of... Of, of just some inside, you know, inside dealing to try and keep the same old, same old. And that's not what we as Americans should tolerate. Again, again, you, you, you talk just like oh, any Democratic mayor elected. You are elected by the people, Mr. Mayor. Remember that. As a young man, and you come to go, as we say, three out of three, but unforeseen obstacle. And we know, but look at it, we look at it, it was 33 to 31 and a half. So we're talking about a margin of just winning by 200 votes that you can test. And because of powers that, you know, they still, you know, but we know that we win the last election, but we are not spoiled losers or whatever. So we and, say, let's move on. And, and that's let's why, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big believer in sports because sports gives you right. not just great values, it aligns with your faith. And my faith in God tells me, look, you know, God closed the door. He allowed things to happen the way they did. And, and you know, there were definitely mistakes made. I take responsibility for that. But when I look very, when yes. you look very carefully at what I was, we're you know, good, pursued man. after, it was all political. But, good, but I man. do. You're just jealous and bad mind, man. You know, but, but, you know, but, you but, never but want just, you to be the mayor that bring this place here to the forefront of the millennium. Right now, just imagine Richard Thomas right now as your mayor. That is where the punishment they're feeling now, you know. They would love you to be out here now. They don't see nobody. You'd be out here with your mask on, have your gloves, and you'll be helping out kids, old lady, because that's all you is with, you know what I mean? You'll be here running up in the building, make sure the people them have their food, have their water, make sure that, you know, they're happy, you know. Right now, you, I know you're you're fretting right now. You don't even know what I'm to your seniors, them. 
industry to that they and, love, you know. So, and I'm really fretting about. I heard about that homicide that, right. that happened the other day, but yet there's no news coverage of it. Why? Because Richard Thomas is not in office, I guess, right? But right. they dismantled the police apparatus that supported the community here in Mount Vernon. That's what they did when right. I stepped out of office, and and I'm and I'm still look. I still support the new administration. I want them to succeed. Yes. But we have to call it out for what it is. Um, earlier today, there was a discussion where um, on the radio where the host basically said everything that Mayor Tom has called out is happening. The, the, the money is still murky. There's blockage from the controller. The, the state is not stepping in to help the people of Mount Vernon. What's going on? What is so... You know, what's the big secret in Mount Vernon? And in the host of the show, it was um, Radio Westchester, hosted by Bob Marone. He basically said, you know, look at Memorial Field. The city's spending millions of dollars to clean it up. Nothing happened there, but yet they want to attack, you know, the young, up-and-coming Democrat, me, Richard Thomas. And, and, and it just doesn't make any sense. And even the current mayor is struggling to pay bills, can't hire people, can't pay people, uh, can't even buy protective gear has to use personal slash political funds to pay for things for the city. And, and it's like, you know, what is going on? How come our people cannot unite around an agenda of supporting our people? And again, I support the new administration. I want them to succeed because I live here. I believe in our city being great, but how come we can't get the cooperation, be it from the other branches of government or higher level government to really help us just move on and make the city like every other place with a flat street, that, good no parks, and, and a great, vibrant nightlife. When the city opening up, or uh, where's the mayor, I want you, you know, it's just, it's just like, you know, the people is on their, their own, you know, I mean, um, you know, we don't see, so you don't hear nothing, you know, the other day, it's just comes to the, Park has been giving out sanitizing, um, you know, stuff, you know, we don't, you know, and, and, and again, it is, it is what it is, Mr. Mayor, you know, um, the governor and the executive, they are the one who give out the information and everybody fall in line, not under Richard Thomas administration. I assure you would never stand for this, you know, I mean, where your voice is so silent. In such an important, important pandemic going on. So, you know, it's a sad thing for Mount Vernon, Mr. Mayor. You know what I mean? There is no well, information. I can't tell you how much people is infected, how much people is tested, how the testing is going on, where the testing is at right now, how long the testing is going to go. There is so much important thing, and this is a cluster community. So, Mr. Mayor, it's very, very dangerous. You know, we are just talking. Maybe we don't even have an understanding what's actually going on in Mount Vernon. I remember, young guys, they say, was um, the first, you know, infested more than, and Mount Vernon second and New Rochelle. Now, New Rochelle, they say, is okay. But we don't know the status of Mount Vernon, Mr. Mayor, and that is frightening because, again, we have a testing site in Mount Vernon, but we just don't know the status and Richard Thomas government, as you say, no rhetoric, transparent. We would have known exactly how much people out of the 70,000 that have been tested already are what's going on. And it, it, it's not right, Mr. Mayor, you know. Well, so, we, we so where do we go from like here? This, you know? I, I think where we go from here is this. We have to make sure that the agenda is clear. The agenda is let's make sure that our democracy, our voting rights, are protected, not eroded, not taken away. We want to we want to see a fair June election where, you know, if you right. made it to the ballot, stay on the ballot. So I think that Bernie Sanders his name should be put back on that ballot in June. I think it's it's the right thing to do for democracy. With respect to um, you know, all the different privacy changes and, and all the, you know, the tracing of people without their consent and knowledge. That's that's a very slippery slope. And I do hope that there's more discussion on that. But I really do hope that there's a lot more transparency on testing and how we can get more people tested and also work through the issues of providing people with food. Because, 
you're gonna have right. you have a scenario right now where people were already hungry. Now they're even more hungry because you know they have to stay at home. And they can't work. Not so we have to do. There has to be a, a big operation to feed people, and I think the city should should be one of the front lines to help make that happen. Yeah, that's, there's a surprise gouging going on where they're adding on a dollar and 50 cents and everything out here, and there's mm. nobody to help the poor people. Just imagine, Mr. Mayor. You know what I mean? They're adding on a dollar, so water that used to be a dollar is this dollar fifty. An ordinary tiny tissue that used to be just a dollar is two dollars. So certain essential stuff they're putting on more money on it, and nobody is, is telling us. Why they raising the, the, the price, you know, to these people, you know, who already, you know, have been through so much stress. You know, so, Mr. Mayor, there's no protection for consumer out here, especially more Vernon people who, who just have to go to the store and buy what they want to buy because, you know, they don't have this the government tell them to put on 50 cents or a dollar. But, yeah, since this coronavirus argument come out, man, there's a lot of things going on that is not fair, you know, and you need to be addressed. And I need your administration. Well, I we, don't we, think they would, could do that, you know what I mean? Well, I, I just know that we can't have two Democratic parties. We need one Democratic party to unite, and we need everybody to unite around, yes, yeah. our, our you know, next nominee is going to be Joe Biden. I believe in, in him being, you know, on the top of the ticket. I'm not sure who he's going to pick for his his um, his running mate. Um, I, yeah. I doubt he picks Bernie, but I do think that, you I know, Michelle Obama would be a you, great, a great person to put, you know, next to him. Um, I think she would inspire the base um, I'm, in terms of if Michelle Obama does not want to do it. I think Governor Cuomo will be a great vice president candidate. I think he would line up phenomenally against um, Vice President Pence because they were both governors. Well, Pence was a governor. Cuomo is our governor doing great things in terms of, you know, uh, I know I'm taking command. Lie, Mr. But, Mr. But, but there are still I, I issues like that, that have to be addressed over overall. Today, no, man. Him could I get around to you, no, man. I'm not so bad, you know. You're a boy, the Jersey. Jersey black man, you know, like him. Oh, boy, there. We drop out of the Democratic. Oh, uh, Cory Booker? What is his name, man? Cory Booker, Cory Booker. Booker. You don't like Corey. No, I like Corey, but I but look, it's the heartland that's going to determine this election. The the the, mm -hmm. the Democratic states and the Democratic voters are pretty. Their mind is pretty made up, and it's coming down to a handful yeah. of states, and and the numbers, be it poll the numbers, midwest, be, it, midwest, be it be it be it track record, however you want to call it, I'm looking at I'm looking at reality, and and the reality yeah. is. If you're in the heartland and you're a voter that 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 identifies with someone like that looks like, you know, Vice President Pence, you know, mm -hmm. you need to put somebody to to to, you know, basically stand up to that and say, well, I believe in something different and better, be it a woman or a man, whoever it is, they have to speak to the heartland oh, 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 too. Who you like, Miss Warren? Miss Warren, what do you think? No, I, I think I don't think I don't think Miss Warren is going to be the, the 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 choice, particularly to balance out the ticket, um, to bring in those voters that are undecided. The, uh, uh, Miss Irish, oh, you know, uh, I, I think she's a good uh, candidate. Irish, yo, I think she's a good candidate for for VP, but 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 I do think that. Um, Michelle Obama would be my first choice. If she were to take it, man, yeah, that would well, have just You're sent it way over the top. Decency, intelligent. Not only that, that one like out and left field, we call that. That would be like bringing back America to the value that it is. Yeah. You know, beautiful. Like what we say, America is a woman country. You know what I mean? You know, we grew up in Jamaica here. When you go to America... Um, it's a woman country. Don't you be disrespectful to women. Don't you say nothing bad. Treat them good. So bringing Michelle Obama into that green like, oh my God, a breath of fresh air. You know what I mean? And and yeah. again, I, I I don't know who who he's gonna pick. I'm just telling you who I know will excite the base. And I do think that Governor Cuomo right, will no, be I an exciting pick president. for the base as well. And Richard Thomas and the president. Just imagine Richard Thomas and Michelle Obama. Oh, you're like funny. No, like no, no. Joseph Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe again, you know what I mean? 
a rock star, you know what I mean? America. So so hard. we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this yeah. show. We're gonna wrap up this show. Um we have to cut it short today because, you know, uh with the with the, the daddy duty and the the you know homeschooling and stuff, I gotta make sure I get back to the kids. But I do want to just ask you, Father Gassy, um the other day I cut my hair, man. What are you thinking? Listen, man, I'm gonna tell you this, Mr. Mayor. I was he's a mature person. We see that young man who would have that bushy hair like a Rastaman start out, you know, skinny in his blazer. And now we're looking at a man who are mature now, who we'll learn his lesson. And he's on to some serious work, you know. You can't be looking like Aris all the while, you know. So he's in his own. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like the look, Rich. He does a mature Rich. He's not the young youth again at, you know, 29. You know, you, you, you grow up wifey. Big of your wife who always there and you know your family, but yeah, you have to. I don't want to call you no old man with it, cause you're still pretty young. But it's just a mature with it, have us again. I'm ready up, fire up, fire you know, up, fire up, rise up, rise up. You know, gloves up, man. gloves up, yeah. gloves on. <laughs> and father gassy yeah, just prior. just make sure that you um you tell that family that lost their loved one due to the you know senseless homicide murder that happened in Mount Vernon. I'm, yeah. you know, my heart goes out to them, and I will give them a call to just a express my condolences. Driver, a new line taxi driver, a young man, you know what I mean, who work every night to make sure people reach home safe. You know, lost his life because jealousy. You know, these young people don't understand that. They say you don't have to kill over a girl, man. There is five girls to one. I do a 35 girl to one, man, you know what I mean? Don't fight over the girl, man. No, be nice. You know, but that's how it is. And the Mayor Thomas administration over and have so much thing to do, we don't have time to fight over a girl, you know. Party over and I'm so again, Mr. That, Mayor, and, it's and, a sad moment. Uh, and and that's going to be the focus our of our next show. We're going to talk about how to get the economy going again as we yes. hear about reopening um in the plans and the steps that are being taken definitely want to continue to follow what the government is saying at the state level and the federal guidelines yeah, but we got to make sure that on a local level we take steps to Mr. open up Mayor, that are proper and real right all right man well look live liven up yourself you heard it here first the right to open what you say is it the right of the president to open the the city and the state or is the governor? It's that the governor, but I'll tell you right now, we, we, we wrapping it up and we just want to say, you know, everybody stay healthy, stay fresh, wash those hands, make sure you social yeah. distance, wear your mask, and stay tuned for the next Gloves On, Gloves Off with Gloves Father Gassy yeah. and Mayor Thomas. Respect. All right, Father Gassy, Mayor Thomas, 2020, April the 28th. Don't be late. All right, love on up.